Hail, Holy Queen and throne above, O Maria. Hail, Mother of mercy and of love, O Maria. Triumph, all ye cherubim, sing with us, ye seraphim. Heaven and earth resound by him. Save, 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 Regina. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My dear friends, we gather here on this Saturday. Saturdays are devoted to our Blessed Mother. As we gather here today, thinking about the love that God has for us, thinking about the love that Jesus has as he opened his arms on the cross for our salvation, let us seek the forgiveness of our sins. Let us ask for mercy and rejoice in forgiveness. Let us pray. Pardon the faults of your servants, we pray, O Lord, that we who cannot please you by our own deeds may be saved through the intercession of the mother of your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. Rejoice, O young men, O man, while you are young, and let your heart be glad with the days of your youth. Follow the ways of your heart, the vision of your eyes, yet understand that as regards all this, God will bring you to judgment. Ward off grief from your heart and put away trouble from your presence through the dawn of youth is fleeting. Remember your Creator in the days of your youth before the evil days come. And the years approach of which you will say, I have no pleasure in them. Before the sun is darkened, and the light, and the moon, and the stars, while the clouds return after the rain. When the guardians of the house tremble, and the strong men are bent. And the grinders are idle because they are few. And they who look through the windows grow blind. When the doors to the streets are shut, and the sound of the mill is low. When one waits for the chirp of the bird, but all the daughters of song are suppressed, and one fears heights and perils in the street. When the almond tree blooms, and the locust grows sluggish, and the carper berry is without effect. Because man goes to his lasting home, and mourners go about the streets, before the silver cord is snapped, and the golden bowl is broken. And the pitcher is shattered at the spring, and the broken pulley falls into the well, and the dust returns to the earth as once it was, and life breath returns to God who gave it. Vanities of vanities, says Coelho, all things are vanity. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. In every age, O oh Lord, you have been our refuge. You turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it has passed, or as a watch of the night. In every age, O oh Lord, you have been our refuge. You make an end of them in their sleep. The next morning they are like changing grass. At the dawn springs up anew, by evening wilts and fades. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, O long, have pity on your servants. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. And may the gracious care of the Lord our God be ours. Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. In every age, O oh Lord, you have been our refuge. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Our Savior Christ.
Christ Jesus destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While they were amazed at his very every deed, Jesus said to his disciples, Pay attention to what I am telling you. The Son of Man is to be handed over to men. Excuse me. <coughs> Pardon me. But they did not understand the saying. It me its meaning was hidden from them, so they would not understand it. And they were afraid to ask him about the saying. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our first reading today, which comes to us from the book of Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes reminds us of really the, the life that we live and that how everything one day will be judged and how one day everything will return to God. In the first part of the reading, we hear this line, it says, Rejoice, O young man, while you are young, and let your heart be glad in the days of your youth. Yet understand that as you regard all this, God will bring you to judgment. And I think that sometimes it's hard for us to hear it's hard for us to hear that one day we will be judged. You know, I think so many people believe that, you know, when they die, you know, heaven's gates are just going to swing open for them. Even though they spent very little time in prayer, even though they didn't develop a relationship with Jesus Christ. You know, I laugh so many times when we're at Mass and people refuse to sing. And yet every description we have of the kingdom of God is people singing. And you know, many times we pray the Psalms. And the Psalms are really songs. And if you think about it, those were the prayers that Jesus himself prayed, the Psalms. He no doubt chanted them or sang them, whatever was the Hebrew tradition. You know, Jesus gave everything he had to praise and worship God. And yet, we're just too afraid to do that. God gave us a voice, but do we use it to praise him, or do we use it to hurt one another? Do we use our hands? Do we use our hands to care for people? Do we use our hands to build one another up, or do we use our hands for violence? and for destruction. Remember what their first reading says to us. And the dust returns to the earth as it once was, and the life breath returns to God who gave it. Everything we have is God's, even the breath we take. We need to turn back to God. We need to forsake our sins because, just as the Gospel remembers, the Son of Man will be handed over to men and he will be killed, but he will rise on the third day, and so will all those who believe. Saturdays are typically devoted to Our Lady, and we once again implore her for her intercession. We implore her for prayers that she will help us along our journey because we need all the help that we can get. Because Mary does one thing. She brings us to Christ. Entrusting ourselves to the care of our Father and to the intercession of Jesus, we offer these prayers. We pray for the leaders of the church. May the grace of our almighty God pour forth in them a spirit of unity and truth. We pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For all elected officials, may wisdom guide their decision-making. May we enact laws that respect human life from the moment of conception to natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are absent from the life of the church, may the Lord encourage them in their faith and deliver them from doubt, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those of us who have gathered here today virtually, may the Holy Spirit be our guide as we work together to make our faith community welcoming and a loving place to be, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and the suffering, the lonely, the oppressed, the fearful, the anxious, may they know the healing touch of our Savior, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have passed away, May Christ's eternal light shine upon them and grant them eternal rest. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for your needs, your intentions, that we bring to God our Father today in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We unite all of our prayers into one. We lift them up to our Father, praying just as Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord God, ruler of heaven and earth, hear our prayers offered today in humble submission to your will. For we bring them to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, Come, at least spiritually, into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. May Almighty, and may the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave.